The latest COVID-19 numbers are still falling. The Kansas positivity rate is at 5% of tests coming back positive. It hasn't been this low since June. Missouri's rate is down to 6.2%, the lowest it's been since the month of July. And there could soon be a third vaccine available to Americans. Regulators say Johnson & Johnson's single-dose vaccine provides strong protection against severe COVID-19. Friday, a panel of FDA experts will decide if it will get an emergency authorization. A final decision is expected in a few days. Only a few million doses are expected to be ready for shipping in the first week. The Biden administration plans to distribute millions of masks to Americans in places hit hard by the virus. They will be sent to federally qualified community health centers and food banks. The goal is to provide masks to 12 to 15 million people. And we've seen COVID outbreaks in prisons, but now many inmates are hesitant to get the vaccine. Melissa Robinson is with the Black Healthcare Coalition, working to get information to black inmates about the safety of the vaccine, adding access to inmates needs to be a priority. The thing we don't wanna do, especially in those confined situations, is to give them um, the information, the education and the science behind the vaccine, and then there's no um, available access. Robinson says she understands the distrust among African Americans, especially after the Tuskegee experiment, which history, Robinson says, you cannot ignore. New at four, auditors say that Kansas could have paid unemployment scammers double the amount, the state's Labor Department says. KNBC 9 News investigative reporter Matt Fleener is following new details. Tonight, major disagreement over how much money the Kansas Department of Labor has paid to scammers. Ultimately, we estimated that about 600 million in unemployment benefits paid in Kansas in 2020 could have been fraudulent. Wednesday, this new state audit says scammers could have stolen $600 million in unemployment benefits from the state of Kansas, $200 million from the state's unemployment trust fund, $400 million from federal pandemic programs. We raised several areas of concern with the audit as conducted. But labor leaders in Governor Kelly's office say the figures are lower, estimating $140 million taken from the state, $150 million from the feds. From what we can tell, Kansas was a much bigger problem than many other states. And Lawmakers so, have slammed the department, I, saying they didn't catch fraud leaders, soon yeah, enough, with department there. leaders fighting back, saying other states are seeing the same problems. That Kansas is somehow the only state or an outlier or number one in fraud um, is categorically false and not supported by any publicly available data. Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News. Auditors will present more findings in another audit about fraud later this year.